Hello and welcome back to Before You Summon, the show where I will be haunted by limited gachas for the rest of my life. It took me 330 summons to get a single on banner card. That is actually awful. Before we start, I just want to remind everyone that the Knights of White It's Back Gacha will run from March 17th to March 26th, which is in the middle of the upcoming event. If you are planning on summoning from the Knights of White Gacha, it is good to get in your summon as soon as possible before it vanishes again. But as I stated in the March preview episode, the Knights of White Gacha does have a confirmed rerun date in February of next year. Meaning that if you do not have the funds just yet or you are planning to summon from this event, the next event or 2.5 anniversary, you can always save your gems for next year. I also want to remind everyone to subscribe if you find these videos helpful or entertaining. Subscribing is free, takes less than a second, helps me a ton and we just reached 5000 subscribers, meaning we are now aiming for 10,000. And as always, you can always change your mind later if I'm not no longer to your fancy. But getting into the event information, the next event is called the Phoenix in the Distant Sky. The event will start March 11th and run to March 19th, with the gacha running all the way to March 21st. This is a permanent marathon event of the standard variety, meaning that all of the cards are permanent and will enter the standard gacha pool once the event ends. The Phoenix in the Distant Sky is a Wonderland Showtime focused event within the cute attribute. This means that the focus characters are Tsukasa, Emu, Nene, Rui, and Wonderland Showtime Mako. Getting into the event bonus section, this event certainly exists. It isn't impressive, it isn't outstanding, it is just kind of here. Of course, as always, we have the three focus cards with a 70% bonus that you can pull from the event gacha. These cards in question is Tsukasa with a phoenix scene in those blurry eyes, which is also most commonly referred to as Yester Kasa. We have Emu with the Quack Quack Duck Challenge card. And finally, we have Nene with the difference I was made aware of. Getting into the cards with a 50% bonus, this is, of course, as already stated, a unit focused event, meaning that all virtual singers with the Wonderland Showtime tag and the cute attribute are capable of giving the 50% bonus. This also means that all virtual singers are capable of giving the 40% bonus, granted that they have a card in the cute attribute with the virtual singer tag instead of the Wonderland Showtime tag. But getting into the cards with a 50% bonus, we have no available 1 star and we have 4 available 2 stars. We have Tsukasa and Kaito's original 2 star cards available. We have the Emu from On a Holy Night with this singing voice. And we have Rui's 2 star card from A Desperate Situation Island Panic. We also have 4 available 3 star cards, including the original Emu, the Wonderland Showtime Luka from the event The Tenma Household's Hinamatsuri event. I most likely pronounced that wrong though. We have the Rui from the event Tell Me Your Problems Exciting Picnic. And finally, we have the Nene from A Brand New Year Lion Dance Robots New Year Show. On top of that, we have 11 available 4 star cards. Out of these 11, 3 are limited. The first limited card is the Rui from A Song of Vows for You Dressed in Pure White or Wedding Year 1 if you rather call it that. And of course, the Emu and the Nene from Close Game of Line. As for the 8 permanent cards available, we have the Nene, the Miku and the Meiko from the On a Holy Night with this singing voice event. We have the Rin from the event Resounding Twilight Parade. We have the Len belonging to the same event as Rui, a song of vows for you dressed in pure white. But this is a year one limited event, meaning that Len did not have a costume or a hairstyle, meaning that he is considered a permanent card and entered the permanent gacha pool once the event ended. But he has only ever been available as a rate up character during the romantic bride gacha connected to the 
a Song of Wow for You event, meaning that he's only ever been available through limited gachas, but he does exist in the permanent gacha pool. And the final three cards comes from the same set, being Tsukasa, Nene and Rui from the on stage of the Dazzling Lights event or the 88 event, as most people usually refer it to. We also have a singular birthday card available, with a 50% bonus being Emu's Year 1 card. We also have 5 available cards with the 40% bonus, again being Virtual Singers with the Virtual Singer tag instead of the Wonderland Showtime unit tag and the cute attribute. Available with the 40% bonus is the 1 star Miku card, the 1 star Kaito card, the Taylor Driven Mad by Jealousy, which is the Luca Envy card from the 7th Deadly Sins gacha. We also have Happy Anniversary for Kaito, which is the birthday card for the first year, and we have the happy anniversary Luca card from second year. And this is once again one of those events where I'm inclined to say that this isn't the worst thing we've ever seen, but it isn't either especially amazing. Tsukasa is certainly the stick in the mud here, being only available through a 2 star and a singular permanent 4 star. But it's also worth mentioning that the 2 star for Tsukasa is one of the original ones, meaning that you most likely have it. And while you might not have the 4 star for Tsukasa, there are 4 different 4 stars available for the virtual singers. And that's not even mentioning that we have 4 available cards in the 40% batch. Still, most of the permanent cards are quite old, meaning that you most likely maybe have sniped 1 or 2 if you've summoned a lot and I do think that the team building surrounding the 3 and 2 stars are quite easy. It is worth mentioning that the Nene being part of Lion Dance means that she has not yet entered the standard gacha pool, meaning you have to have played during Lion Dance to have picked her up and have her available during this event. And since she doesn't have a 2 star available, your only other options if you did not play during Lion Dance is a limited 4 star or 2 permanent 4 stars. But once again, if you're such a new player that you did not play during Lion Dance and you do not have any of the 4 star cards for Nene, there are two 1 stars available with a 40% bonus that you guaranteed have. I do think that this event roster, while not the most amazing thing we have ever seen, is one of the more fair events, meaning that you can at least build a team with a 250% bonus without any bigger issues. It might include a 2 star, but that's fine sometimes, we cannot have the perfect event team for every single event. Seeing as most people will be able to build either a 250 or 240 event bonus team, I think that this event should be given some slack in the event building department. So I will not keep japping and complaining about the event bonus section. Instead I think we should look and see if these three focus cards have seen use in future events on the Japanese side. And sadly this time around only one of the three cards have seen use with a 50% bonus on the Japanese event schedule as far as we can currently see at the time of this video's posting. The one card that will see use is Jester Kasa and he will see use during the event Hello Good Day or as it's more commonly known as the third anniversary. Hello Good Day will start September 30th and run to October 10th, 2024. It is a mixed cheerful carnival event with a colorful fest attached to it. Tsukasa is a part of the gacha during this event, meaning he is available with a 70% bonus if you do summon him from the Hello Good Day gacha. In the gacha is Ichika, Minori, Tsukasa and Kanade, and they all have special available hairstyles seeing as they are limited cards. We will talk more about Hello Good Day as we get closer to it as 3rd anniversary is packed with different things happening. As for Emu and Nene, neither of them have seen use either through a mixed event or another Wonderland Showtime cute focused event. Of course, as always, there is a chance there will be a unit focused cute event for Wonderland Showtime in the near future as this is the last unit focused cute event they've had, but I wouldn't bet my buck on it as there are 
a few other attributes I think will come before cute for Wonderland Showtime. But with that we have looked into the event bonus for this event and we have looked if these cards will ever give a 50% bonus themselves. So instead I think that we should move over to the card and costume showcase. So we arrive at the final question of the hour, should you summon from the event the phoenix in the distant sky? And I know a lot of people love this event, I've seen a lot of love for Yester Casa both in my comment section and throughout the internet. So the answer as always is definitely yes if Yester Casa, the card and Nene and Emu's cards make you happy. This is definitely not the worst gacha to summon from even if these cards have not seen use yet on the Japanese side. They have amazing and quite unique costumes with darker colors and cool patterns and sure this could mean that these costumes are very niche but I know Wonderland Showtime fans usually like the more clown and jester thematic of the unit. I think the card art is very bold and has very cool lighting and color saturation so I definitely can understand why people really love this set. Of course there are a few things we can note if you're still on the fence on summoning from the Phoenix in the Distant Sky event. This is a standard permanent event, meaning that these cards will enter the standard gacha pool once the event is over and will always be available from the gacha whenever you summon. This also means that the cards will enter the exchange shop in a year's time for the cost of 30 green vouchers. It also means that these cards in a few months time will be available through things like pick lists and happiness packages, meaning that there's a bigger chance to pick them up if you're a dolphin or a whale. There's also quite a few limited events coming up for these characters that could be enticing if you're a big Wonderland Showtime fan. Emu is one of the focus characters for the event, standing next to the kind and gentle you, which is a wedding themed gacha that will run from May 31st to you. 8th. Of course, Tsukasa will then be available through our currently favorite event, Pandemonium, that will run from June 30th to July 9th. This is a colorful fest gacha, meaning that Tsukasa will be available with the 6% pull rate during the first few days of the gacha with Akito, Rui, Kohane and Shizuku. This is then followed by Tsukasa being available, of course, in the Hello Good Day 3rd anniversary gacha that will run from September 30th to October 10th. We then have Nene's last limited card of the year in the event Best Picture Brand that will run from November 30th to December 8th where she's part of a gacha with Akito and Wonderland Showtime Len. And the final Wonderland Showtime limited card that we can currently see on the Japanese side is Emu featuring Cinnamon that will run from December 5th to December 19th if, and I say if with a big asterisk, Sanrio decides to show up on the English servers. But this is not including all of the reruns we will see during 2024 and early 2025. The first rerun is of course Knights of White Tsukasa that we've already talked about at the beginning of the video. Knights of White will rerun during March 17th to March 26th. 
This is followed by the close game of Line Gacha Cyber Snipe rerunning somewhere between the 12th and the 17th of August this year. Cyber Snipe, of course, includes Emu, Nene, and Toya. This is followed by our first, second rerun of a gacha. The rerun is the first anniversary gacha Scramble Flowers and will run somewhere between the 15th and 17th of December 2024. This is followed by Lion Dance, the first rerun run that will happen somewhere between the 12th and the 15th of January 2025. This of course includes Tsukasa, Anne and Wonderland Showtime Rin. We then have our second rerun of the fluffy Dreamland gacha somewhere between the 15th and the 17th of January 2025. This means that if we follow the same pattern at the Japanese server we will have fluffy Dreamland and Lion Dance plus a third gacha Gacha rerunning at the same time with just a slight offset between the first rerun being Lion Dance and the two that are rerunning for a second time. And finally, we have the Scent of Candles first rerun being somewhere in early mid February, so somewhere between the 12th and the 15th, most likely. And then the second rerun of Knights of White, which will be somewhere between the 15th and the 17th of February 2025. We we of course do not have the reruns for March month as I am recording this as they will come out in the middle of the month but the only event available that could rerun that has Tsukasa, Emu or Nene in it would be Operation Secret Tea Time. Of course, take all these events with a pinch of salt as reruns are quite volatile when it comes to what date Sega and Colorful Palette chooses for them. We have had several reruns that do not line up with their Japanese counterpart, just kind of appearing randomly whenever they feel like it. So the dates I have stated are just guesstimations based on the event times we usually see on the Japanese and English side of of things. So if the event comes around earlier or later than I stated, then it is not my fault. It is Sega and Colorful Palette who decides whenever a event will rerun and I have no say in it and I am not psychic. But as you can see, there are a lot of choices for limited event cards for Emu Tsukasa and Nene especially Tsukasa. Like I said, there is only a single more event that they could have rerun to make Emu, Nene or Tsukasa available, being Operation Secret Tea Time, which has Emu in it. The rest of the Wonderland Showtime cards that are eligible for a rerun has done so until February 2025, which is quite impressive actually. So in the case of 2025, the only reruns we have left except for Secret Tea Tea time for Ebu, Nene, and Tsukasa will be the standing next to the Kind and Gentle You, the Pandemonium, the Hello Good Day, and the Best Picture Wrap. Meaning that all Emu, Nene, and Tsukasa limited cards have been available at one point or another during the period from this event to March 2025. Again, except. So if you're interested in any of the limited cards for these characters, now's your chance to save because they are all up on the table, which I find hilarious. And that's kind of the point I want to make, that the Jester Casa are great cards with amazing card art and cute costumes, but there is also a lot of choices when it comes to limited cards that we don't know when they will rerun ever again. But if you want Jester Casa, you should not hinder yourself just because I am telling you that there are other options. I think that you know best what you want for your account, and if Jester Casa is is one of your favorite cards, go for it because I think they are really great cards. But it is also worth mentioning, there's a lot of limited gachas coming up, a lot of second reruns, and we have 2.5 anniversary at the end of the month, which is a colorful festival. But for those on the fence, I hope I could clear up quite a bit of things about this event, and for those who are certain, are you going to tier? Please tell me down in the comments. 
And while you're down there telling me if you dislike this set, if you love this set, if you're going to tear, if you think that this is stupid that there's these many reruns for Wonderland Showtime, why don't you also leave a like, maybe share the video, and ring the bell so you get notifications for every single upload when it comes to Before You Summon. As I said at the start, We've reached 5,000 subscribers, which is more than I ever thought we would in the short amount of time I've been doing YouTube, and I am super happy and almost overjoyed to see so much support for my silly little antics. So if you made it to the end of the videos, a big thank you and a great big hug to all of you subscribers and also just viewers checking in. But with that, I will take my bleeding sentimental heart and I will let you all go. Let's get out of here for the week.